You need to download the relevant sound hacks file for your region and device. The other app payload, the homebrew starter kit, save game manager, and the latest version of PK Hacks. To obtain the relevant sound hacks file, go to the sound hacks GitHub and click on the relevant sound hacks file. Each sound hacks file has a region and 3DS type. Then click on View Raw in order to download it. Then download the other app payload. A link is provided on the GitHub page. You might have to scroll down before you find it. Make sure you select the correct version and region of your device. Make sure you download the other app and not the ROP pin. Now download the homebrew starter kit. Save it in a place you can remember. Download Save Game Manager. A link is provided in the description of the video. The download link may be hard to find, so I circled it. If you haven't already, download the pkhacks.exe file. A download link is provided in the description of this video. Now we are ready to install Homebrew. Take out your SD card and put it into your computer. It should look something like this. Place the sound hacks file, the other app payload, and the Homebrew starter kit at the root of the SD card. Then, extract the homebrew starter kit. You can delete the zip file afterwards. Next, place save game manager at the root of the SD card and extract it. You must extract this after you extracted the homebrew starter kit. If all goes well, the relevant files will be extracted into the 3DS folder. You are done installing homebrew. Place the SD card back into the 3DS. Turn on your 3DS and open Nintendo 3DS Sound. You might be greeted by birds, just ignore them. Go down to SD card and open up this strange file. This should launch Homebrew. Sometimes this gets stuck. If that happens, hold down the power button to turn off your device and try again. Scroll down until you find Save Game Manager. If you cannot find Save Game Manager, that means you either did not install it, or did something wrong. Open Save Game Manager, then open your Pokemon game. Press A to export your game. Then, press X to exit Save Game Manager. Then, press the power button and wait for your device to shut down completely before you take out the SD card and put it back into your computer. When you open your SD card, you should find a folder named Save Data Backup. Inside this folder should be a file named Main without a file extension. This is your game data. Open this with PK Hex. To look at a Pokemon, press right click and then press View. You may edit their attributes after you do so. In order to save this, right click on the same Pokemon and click on Set. If you do not do this, your changes will not be saved. If you do not know what you are doing, I suggest you stick to items and Pokemon only. Editing anything else may have unforeseen consequences. When you are done editing, export main and overwrite your old main file. Place your SD card back into your 3DS. Go back to Nintendo Sound and trigger Homebrew again. Go back to Save Game Manager and open up the relevant game. However, press B to import save data instead of pressing A. Then press X to exit. Then press Start to reboot your console. Check in-game to see if everything saved properly. You are done.